All right, so I had a request to create a video for solving problems like the ones that are on the video right now. Um, so if you don't know what these are, uh, these are exponential equations. However, these are exponential equations that are going to require a base change. Now, you might be saying to yourself, what's a base change? Well, let's take a look at problem number one here. In problem number one, we have three bases. We have the number four here, we have the number 16 here, and we have the number 64 here. As it is currently written, it is not possible to combine these. You can't take four times 16 and then do something with the powers. You just, you can't. Order of operations says no. But what you can do is think about 4, 16, and 64 as needing common bases. So let's see if we can write all of these with a base 4. So 4 would be 4 to the first. That's easy enough. 16, 4 squared. Okay, not too bad. And 64, well, clearly that's not 4 squared, so let's go up a level and see, and I do have my calculator right next to me, so this would be 4 to the third. So what we're going to do is take the 4, the 16, and the 64 and create an expression, or in this case an equation, that has all common bases. So 4 to the third stays 4 to the third. 16 is going to get replaced with 4, whoops, hold on one second, there we go, 4 squared, and then this exponent that was there is going to stay, so 3 minus 3n, and 64 is going to get replaced with 4 to the third. All right, now everything from here is all about exponent properties, so 4 to the third times, now we've got a power with another power, we're going to multiply these two together. So that's going to be 4 to the 6 minus 6n equals 4 to the third. All right, on the left side, we have like bases being multiplied, so we can add the exponents. So 4 to the 9 minus 6n equals 4 to the third. All right, once you have your equation down to a single base on the left side and a single base on the right side, because these two bases are equal, the only way for this equation to be equal is for us to say that the exponents are equal to each other. That's it. That's the only way it's going to happen. So at this point, I'm going to solve this equation. So let's see if I subtract 9 from both sides. Uh, that would be negative 6. So I'm getting n is equal to 1. Now, what I'm going to do very quickly is I'm actually going to go back to the original here and plug it in to make sure that I have not done uh, some goofy mistake because that's known to happen. Uh, I figure we're all human and, you know, we make mistakes every once in a while. Uh, but in this case, my calculator tells me that I am correct, so good to go for me. And so this is my value for n. All right, so that's what happens when you have 4, 16, and 64. Obviously, not every problem is going to turn into base 4s. So let's slide over to number 2. All right, number 2. Uh, again, we have three bases. We have 125 here, we have 625 here, and we have 25 here. Now, I've done these a few times, my brain kind of starts processing through a few things, and immediately I know my common base is actually going to be the number 5. So 5 squared is 25, 125 is 5 cubed, and 625 is 5 to the 4th. And at any point, you know, play around with your calculator, play around with the numbers, and see what works. But what you have to make sure happens, sorry about that, is that these bases here are identical. Okay? So let's see. 125 is going to get replaced with, let me actually write with a pen here. So that would be 5 cubed m to the third. No. To the m plus 3. Let me read what I actually wrote there. All right, times 625 is 5 to the fourth, negative 2m. And then 25 is going to get replaced with 5 squared, 3m minus 3. All right. Exponent rules kick in. We're going to take power times power, power.
power times power, power times power the whole way across. So 5 to the 3m plus 9 times 5 to the negative 8m equals 5 to the 6m minus 6. On the left side, like bases, add the exponents. So 5 to the negative 5m plus 9 equals 5 to the 6m minus 6. All right, we've got one exponent piece on the left, one on the right. Set just the exponents equal because the bases are the same. So negative 5m plus 9 equals 6m minus 6. Okay, uh, let's see. Move the 5m over, that makes 11m. Move the 6 over, that makes 15. So m is equal to 15 over 11. And so I'm going to check that out and see what happens when I substitute that back into the original. Now let's make sure I didn't do anything goofy there. Times 625 raised to the negative 2m. Let's make that equal to 25 to the 3m minus 3. And my calculator is hollering at me, but that's because I didn't do my check correctly. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. All right, so that's one of the things where off screen I did a check to make sure that this is in fact the correct answer. All right, so I hope these two equations have helped you see how to deal with the non-like bases.